360 system calibration. The physical calibration setup needs to be completed before the on-screen software calibration. Using user manual and calibration guide to determine correct dimensions based on what model fits your vehicle's actual dimensions the best. Place all 26 markers accurately around the vehicle. Use calibration cones for setting the 3D points on each camera. Three sixty on screen calibration. Use interface settings menu to set vehicle type. For our install, we use the school bus. Please note when vehicle type is selected, system will power cycle. Select what views are desired in specified modes. By default, reversing and driving mode are set to original image, and turning mode is set to rear side view. Enter camera calibration menu to start the calibration process. In the 360 tuning menu, select correct model in standard size for your vehicle dimensions. There are four different sizes to select from, buses S, buses M, buses L and truck. For our 40-foot school bus, we selected buses M. Once your standard size has been set, begin entering each individual camera and using the D-pad on remote to move cursors around to corresponding calibration points. After all calibration points have been set in each camera, use Merging Computation to start the process of stitching the four cameras together. When merging is complete, use the 360 tuning menu settings to fine tune your image. Use Adjust Vehicle Position to decrease or increase the 3D model size in bird's eye views. Top view, front view, and both rear views. Front shadow area, rear shadow area, and left right shadow area is used to shadow any unwanted vehicle present. Merging angles are recommended to be left at default. In the other settings menu, the durations or specified events can be set to customer's desired needs. By default, hazard blinker trigger duration is set to five seconds. Trigger delay is set to three seconds and video output mode is set to constant. Lastly, when complete with calibration and all settings are set to desired values, it is recommended to enter the upgrade and restore menu and export calibration data to included micro SD card in case of system replacement calibration data can be imported to new system unit. And that completes the 360 on-screen calibration setup.